Hello, beautiful people. Today, I wanted to introduce to you a contemplative mind-body practice that is introduced by Dr. Mario Martinez in his fabulous book, The Mind-Body Code. And this exercise is so wonderful because often we try to change our minds by doing this rational thinking and try to make ourselves believe something different. But what is lacking is connecting this kind of mental concept to embodiment, actually embodying the concept. So I, you'll, I hope you understand as I explain the exercise. I will explain it to you here and then you can do it on your own. Um, I also have a written version, kind of a script of it. If you want that, just let me know and I'll send it to you. Um, <laughs> and as you can see back here behind me, let's see, can you see it? Um, this little image, you'll see my rudimentary art skills at play from when I was an educational therapist. Uh, let's look at that a little bit closer. Okay, so as you can see, I want to point out first down here that this really is a hierarchy. Uh, we are going to connect these concepts to certain parts of our body. But it's important that we start with safety because we need to feel safe in order to then give and receive love. And then once we are able to do that, then we can really own our expression of both our good and bad emotions, our creativity. And when we have safety and love and expression, we experience peace, mental and physical peace. And that ends up connecting us to this transcendent part of us, which is our spirit. So that is the order in which we will focus. And the first part of our body is this lower half of our body, kind of from our lower abdomen, pelvic area, legs, and feet. And what we do is we breathe in and imagine our breath going to that part of the body. And the mantras that we connect will always kind of be in this order. Safety, I am safety, I take safety wherever I go. So you'll notice that that is going to be the pattern. We'll focus on a part of our body, breathe in air, feel the sensations in that part of the body, really give our undivided attention, not calling anything good or bad, but just let me experience the sensations in that part of my body and then we will connect a concept to that part of the body and it will be the word and then I am that and then I take that word wherever I go. So the first one is safety. It's so important that we feel safe. So when we connect safety to that bottom part of our body, we can imagine us standing tall like the trunk of a tree and feeling secure, grounded, safe. And then we can imagine walking, not very far these days, but we can walk around and take safety wherever we go and that that sense of safety lives within us. And then we can move up to the heart region. I accidentally didn't include the heart and had to re-include <laughs> the heart there, but kind of your heart, lungs, chest area. And the mantra there is going to be um, it's going to be love. I am love. I take love wherever I go. And you can imagine kind of rays of sunshine coming from your heart or an orb of, of uh, light uh, or soft color coming from your heart and extending to others. And you can imagine giving and receiving love. And as you imagine this concept, you imagine breathing it into this heart space. And then the third area is expression. And it's going to be from you know, your entire face, throat, and your arms and hands. Those are kind of our bodily areas of expression. And the mantra is expression. I am expression. I take expression wherever I go. 
And as you say these mantras and imagine the air going into this part of your body, your face, your throat, your arms and hands, you can imagine yourself kind of giving yourself permission to express yourself, whether you're angry or sad or afraid or happy or being creative or expressing love and affection, that you give yourself permission to have that voice and to express yourself. Okay, then we can move on to the fourth portal, as Mario Martinez calls it. And this is going to be just the forehead and the entire back of the head, the, just the brain really. And the mantra is peace, I am peace, I take peace wherever I go. And again, you're going to imagine the air going to that part of your body. I do this sitting or lying down and I have my eyes closed. And whenever I do this one, when I imagine the air going to my brain and I say these words, peace, I am peace, I take peace wherever I go, it really relaxes the rest of my body. It really works for me. Um, and now once we had these foundational pieces, safety, love, expression, peace, then we can do the final portal, as Martinez calls it, and that is spirit. It's this part of us that transcends our body. And in Turkish, the word for spirit, nefes, is also breath, the word for breath. So in this one, we don't have a body anchor, but we're going to connect it to our breathing. So you can see here, you see that? So the spirit connected to the breath. And what I do is in, out breath, and then I hold, and in that space between breaths is where I say the mantra. So the mantra is spirit, I am spirit. I am spirit wherever I go. And this again connects us to the part of us that transcends our body, that is bigger than our body, our compassionate witness, the part that observes our outer and inner world. So those are the five portals, mind-body portals, where we connect these really foundational concepts that lead to our well-being, specifically to parts of our body. And I will often do this uh, lying down before I take a nap. It really helps me relax or before I go to bed at night. Um, if you have any questions about this or you want to try to practice it, uh, just leave me a comment and I would love to talk to you about it.